type 2 diabetes is linked to obesity and it can go into remission in people who lose weight. A recent study of over 35,000 people with type 2 diabetes in Hong Kong has shown that weight loss does increase the chance of remission. A 2018 trial carried out in United Kingdom, published in The Lancet, showed that 50% of people with type 2 diabetes who receive support to lose weight through dietary changes were in remission a year later. So today's story is all about the research update on weight loss induced diabetes remission. I am Amit Deshpande and you are with Star Health. In a few moments from now, I will present you a critical evaluation investigating the benefits of weight loss and diabetes remission. So stay tuned and watch till the end. According to the World Health Organization, the number of people with type 2 diabetes rose nearly fourfold between 1980 and 2014. Type 2 diabetes has many risk factors, including some genetic and environmental factors. But increased body weight and lack of exercise are both linked to this condition. Weight loss can lead to remission of type 2 diabetes in some patients. The weight loss can be achieved via lifestyle changes or through weight loss surgery as per a 2020 study reported published in JAMA Surgery. A 2018 trial carried out in United Kingdom, published in The Lancet, showed that 50% of people with type 2 diabetes who received support to lose weight through dietary changes with a remission of a year later. These studies involved significant intervention, whether they involved bariatric surgery for weight loss or lifestyle intervention, and were all based on clinical trials. While they proved weight loss can be an effective way to achieve remission of type 2 diabetes, there is a lack of real-world data available about the likelihood and sustainability of remission. Now the question is, does weight loss send diabetes into remission in real-world settings? To remedy this, a group of researchers from Chinese University of Hong Kong conducted an analysis of data for patient enrolled in the Risk Assessment and Management Program for Diabetes Mellitus, abbreviated as RAMPDM, which provides regular assessment of people with diabetes living in Hong Kong. The report was published in PLOA Medicine. As per this report, the researchers looked at the data from 37,326 people with type 2 diabetes who were enrolled on the program within a year of diagnosis between 2000 to 2017 and followed up till 2019. The researchers looked at weight loss, whether or not weight loss has been sustained and blood glucose measurements. Defining remission from diabetes as two consecutive measurements of biomarkers for high glucose, HbA1c of under 6.5%, at least six months apart, they looked for weight loss and remission over a period of an average 7.9 years. People with a body mass index of under 15 or over 50 were excluded from the study. The research team found that just 6.1% of people enrolled in the study remained in remission from type 2 diabetes at the 8-year landmark. People who had lost 10% or more of total body weight in the year of following diagnosis were over 3 times as likely to be in remission at the end of their follow-up compared to people who gained weight. People who had lost between 5 to 9.9% of body weight were twice as likely as being in remission at the end of the follow-up compared to people who had gained weight. Those who had lost up to 4.9% of their body weight had only a marginal better chance of being in remission than people who gained weight. Thus, while weight loss did contribute to the chance that an individual who would see their type 2 diabetes go into remission, this was lower for people who had lost less weight. Now the question is, does early weight loss increase the chances of diabetes remission? The risk of redeveloping type 2 diabetes after remission was 48% lower for people who had lost over 10% of their body weight compared to people who had gained weight and 22% and 10% lower for people who had lost 5 to 9.9% and less than 4.9% of their body weight respectively. According to the authors, the study showed that while early weight loss did not increase the chance of remission, achieving this in a real-world setting was clearly coming up with challenges as to maintain remission. So the take-home message is managing type 2 diabetes is completely attainable through diet changes, but you have to continue these changes in perpetuity. It's not a six-month change that will fix your blood sugar levels forever. It's a complete lifestyle change that you make and stick with or the diabetes will return. 
this is the fact that many people either completely miss or don't understand when trying to change their diabetic status with diet so that brings us to the end of today's story about weight loss and diabetes remission for more medical updates please do subscribe the channel thanks for watching signing off for now and have a great day ahead thank you Thank you.